Now Sebastian Munoz for birdie at the fifth. Sebastian. Flexing on the field right now is uh, Sebastian. By the way, we have so many Texas ties here this week. Of course, with the number one player in the world, Scotty Scheffler, and Jordan Spieth, as you mentioned at the beginning, is being represented at the top of the leaderboard. And here he is at 14. Yeah, he was a little uh, cut off there as well. Pepper and flag six, it probably just was an awkward. He likes to move the ball in the opposite direction, more comfortable with pins on the right. Dribbling in another birdie, nine under par. Good conversation about the wind, albeit a different language with Matteo Gomez, his caddy. Oh, that's a glorious shot. Uh, that's the best we'll see all day. How spectacular that was. And uh, we'll log in another one. Wow. Without a doubt. That nice chip. Sebastian Munoz, the leader, double digits at 17. Oh, boy. There's no way he missed. The, the, the run that he is on, it's looking as big as a bucket. Oh. How about it? Welcome back to our opening round coverage. Our leader, Sebastian Munoz, attacking his final hole of the day, 11 under, and a beauty at the par 5 18th. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. It's a great shot. Great shot. Just his 21st putt of the round. Was there ever a doubt? Sebastian Munoz. What a day. I think if he missed that, he was going to go practice his putting. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Opening round 60 for Munoz. And that was some offense today. 12 under with a bogey. 34 of his last five coming in. And he is head and shoulders above the field right now at the AT&T Byron Nelson. Golf, it's a, it's a weird sport that we play and you know, like we can cut heaters. Luckily I did. That putt on, on nine kind of put some good confidence in me. Uh, hit it really close on 10, hit it really close on 11 and hit it really close on 12. So it was just kind of like a great stretch of golf for me. Well, tell me, in your life before, have you ever shot a 59? And at, at some point today, did you think about that number? And then when did you do that? Yeah, I mean, no, I never, I've never shot 59, ever. Uh, I shot 60 in Sea Island not too long ago, and I felt like this was kind of redemption. Like, you know, like, I knew it coming in that I needed to finish 400 in the last three. So I knew it was a chance, a long shot, but a chance. And I don't know, that kind of just put me back into chasing a couple birdies more. Yeah. And we get, we, I mean, I didn't really give it a run, having to chip, but it was all good. Now, as you look back on today, this evening, and you reflect on your round today, will there be any kind of disappointment, you feel like, if that one bogey for that 59, or is it just because of the spectacular finish that you're still obviously happy? Yeah, no, I, I feel like I'm, I'm really happy where I'm at. Uh, I have no idea what would happen if I hit it in the middle of the fairway on eight. I don't know if I would have caught fire like I did. So it's one of those things that you just take it as they come. And it was a great positive day. OK, one more question. We've been watching you lately uh, several weeks, and you've been playing really well. Obviously, I'm not going to ask you what you did well today, because obviously you did everything really well. But in your trending form of this last month and a half or so, what part of your game do you feel like you are most are able to rely on under pressure? 
Uh, I feel like, you know, the last component is my putting. Uh, I felt like this week I'm approaching putting a little different and it definitely worked on today. But, you know, I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go too far ahead of myself and, you know, just take it one day at a time. Today was a great day. But, you know, conditions aren't that easy and, you know, I got to buckle up tomorrow and try to keep it, keep it going. So, uh, my driving has been really good this, like, this 2022. So, I feel like I've been, I've been, that's probably the best part of my game right now, my driving. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click right here. Not here, or there right here.